My name is Susan. I'm a swimming coach for 30 over years. I cannot hear clearly and I cannot communicate properly with others. I felt that the surrounding is silent. I'm super certified with self life. The audiology is very soft my problem and my need. My life is much better now with my new pair of bearing aid. I can just communicate easily to communicate with anyone and I can FaceTime call to my children and so much, so much better than last time that I can. I would like to recommend anyone with hearing loss to sound life. They will help them to give them a better quality of life. Hi, my name is Lim. They call me Ron Lim. Uh, I have been a patient of uh, Alia Cheng for about four to five years, and I find that uh, she is one of the best audiologists among all the professionals around. My hearing uh, impairment improved tremendously with the hearing aid she recommended for me, and I'm very satisfied with that. And I would really appreciate it, and I would recommend any of my friends who are looking for a good professional hearing aid uh, consultant.
Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. A very good evening to all the viewers. Thank you for joining and supporting Sound Life Hearing during this live video. I'm Tewa, audiologist from Sound Life Hearing. In conjunction with World Hearing Day, Sound Life Hearing as a series of talks throughout this month of uh, March 2020. So last week, we have seen Hoyen and Tilaga, audiologists of uh, Sound Life Hearing, sharing us about the care and maintenance of hearing aids. Today, I'm Tewa here, audiologist of Sound Life, uh, welcoming Gladys, audiologist from Sound Life as well, to share about the topic of the day. Let's welcome Gladys. Hi, Gladys. Hello, Tewa. Hello, everyone. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm Gladys from Sound Life Hearing. Uh, do you want to discuss more or explain more about the topic of the day? Yeah, for today's topic, we will talk about the what is hearing aid and the type of style of the hearing aid and basically how hearing aid will be functioned. Okay. So for most of us, we don't have an, uh, generally we know hearing it helps to hear well or hear better, but we don't know in detail what is hearing it or how it works. Today, we are going to explain the basic things about hearing aids, how it works, and uh, the types, the style, and also uh, the brand of hearing aids. We would like to share about hearing aids today. So... Gladys, you can proceed. Feel free to start with your session. Okay, thank you, Teva. So let me share my screen first. Hi, Teva, do you able to see my screen? Okay. Okay, so for today's topic is no hearing aid for the first time. I believe that most of our most of the topic is not is not clear about what is hearing aid and how hearing aid works. So today, I will share about how he, what is hearing aid, how hearing aid works, and also the style and type of hearing aid available in the market. So if you are a first timer about the, to know about the hearing aid, feel free to share uh, our Facebook live and enjoy our for today's section. So before I move on, let me introduce our company whereby Sound Life Hearing is a one stop hearing health care center which will focus on diagnostic and management of the hearing related disorder. Okay, now Sound Life Hearing has two branches. First is at SS2 Pataring Jaya PJ, and the second branch is at Kotak Kemuning Shah Alam. So you can see that the first bullet is our address for our SS2 branch and the second bullet is the address for our Kota Kemuning branch. So now I will share a short video about the services provided by Sound Life Hearing. Sound Life is the one-stop hearing consultant center that focuses on diagnostic and management of hearing disorder. We offer a complete range of hearing products and solutions for both our adult and children. We strive to provide professional and personalized hearing services by our trained audiologists. Our goal is to promote hearing healthcare as a part of a healthy lifestyle and our services include comprehensive hearing tests, hearing loss, phenologies rehabilitation and hearing aids related services such as prescription, fitting, cleaning, servicing and etc. 
My name is Aliyah Shin. I'm founder and chief audiologist of Soundline Hearing. I'm a believer of better hearing, better life. Living in a world of sound can definitely transform a person's lifestyle and personality. In Soundline, we are all certified audiologists where we follow the best audiological practice in order to help our clients to rehabilitate their hearing-related difficulties. Sound Life Hearing was founded in 2016. All the operation management and clinical tasks are run by a team of passionate and qualified audiologists. We carry different variants of hearing aids and few other health products to fulfill the requirement and need of our clients. We felt the most joy when we see the transformation of a patient's life. It's amazing to see how much joy one can achieve through better hearing. My life is much better now with my new pair of hearing aids. I can FaceTime call to my children and it's so much, much better than last time that I can. Of course, some life was the one that actually helped me to improve my hearing. My hearing impairment improved tremendously and I'm very satisfied with that. Our mission is to provide hearing health care as a part of healthy lifestyle, to raise hearing awareness of the public, to remove stigma of the society towards the hearing impaired, and most importantly, to empower people who suffer from hearing loss to live to the fullest with the latest hearing aids of concrete implants. Here at Sunrise Hearing, we are focused on not only helping you to hear better, we help you through all the aspects of your hearing health. If you have any questions about your hearing, contact us and schedule an appointment today. Okay, as sound life hearing, we follow the best clinical practice in hearing assessment and also manage uh, hearing related issue. So for the hearing assessment, we will do the otoscopic examination, which is the ear check, and also the pure tone audiometry, which is the diagnostic hearing test. After that, we also ha we are having do the tympanometry, which is the middle ear test, and also autoacoustic emission, which is the test for our hearing organ. We call it cochlea. After the hearing test, we will having the consultation session, which we will explain to you about the condition of your hearing and also the hearing test result. If hearing aid is needed, we will proceed with the hearing aid trial. During the hearing aid trial, we will program the hearing aids based on your hearing test result and also let you try the hearing aids in our clinic. After that, if you confirm the hearing aid, we will proceed with the hearing aid fitting and orientation. For the hearing aid fitting and orientation, we will teach you how to operate the hearing aid and also the care and maintenance for the hearing aids. With the follow-up session, we will do the real ear measurement test, which is the goal center for the hearing aid verification. Aid user. As I mentioned before, we need to do the complete hearing test to identify the hearing loss. After that, we will proceed with the consultation, which we will explain you about your hearing test result, and we will do the we will proceed with the hearing aid trial. After you confirm the hearing aid, after the hearing aid fitting, we will have the one month, three month, and six month follow up to have the hearing aid verification and validations. So basically for the hearing loss, there are two types of hearing loss. First is the reversible hearing loss, we call it temporary hearing loss. And the second one is the irreversible hearing loss, which is called it permanent hearing loss. So for the temporary hearing loss, you can seek for the ENT management. But for the permanent hearing loss, which is irreversible, you need the hearing aid to help you hear better. So, 
now today now i will move to our topic today which is the technology of hearing aids so what is hearing aids hearing aid actually is a small electronic device that you will be able to wear in your or behind your ears so it will make the sound louder so that the person with the hearing loss able to listen communicate and participate fully in the daily activities Hearing aids also able to help the people to hear, not even in the quiet, but also in the noisy situations. So the hearing aids basically is made out of three components, three main components. First is the microphone, amplifier, and receiver. So for the microphone, microphone will pick up the sound surrounding the sound and will send the sound to the amplifier. The amplifier will amplify the sounds and the, the amplifier sound will go to the ear through the receiver. Okay, so now as the hearing aids, most of the hearing aids is the digital hearing aids. I mean the hearing aid able, we are able to program the hearing aid based on your hearing level. Okay, so Currently, most of us will think that hearing aids is very ugly, budgy, and not fashionable. Okay, but now the hearing aid technology has improved, improved, and also the hearing aid has improved a lot. So now the hearing aid is available in different styles, and it is small, tiny, and fashionable. So basically, hearing aid is customized into two categories. First is the custom-made hearing aids. Custom-made hearing aids is the custom-made device that will fit all the hearing compartments in a unit then will fit into your ear canal or your ears. So it's something like this one. Okay, so for the behind the ear hearing aid, we call it BPE. Uh, all the compartment will be housed and placed rest behind your ear canal and will be connected to your ear canal through the tubing and also the ear mold. So the first type of the custom made hearing aid is the completely in the canal hearing aids. So for the completely in the canal hearing aid, it is very small and able to insert completely into your ear canal like so in this picture. So for this type of hearing aid, able to support the patient with mild to moderate hearing loss. Okay, so now we move on to the in the canal hearing aids. Okay, so for the in the canal hearing aids, is the hearing aid will be inserted into your ear canal. So the ear canal, so the after insert the ear canal, the hearing aid will be look like the picture at the right side. So it's used for the patient with mild to moderate, mild to severe hearing loss. And the last one is in the ear hearing aid is the last custom made hearing aid is in the ear hearing aids. So in the ear hearing aids, it will be put it like in your ear as shown in this picture. So for this type of hearing aid, you are able, the hearing aid able to support from mild to severe hearing loss. Okay, now we move on to the BTE behind the ear hearing aids. So the first one is the receiver in the canal. The hearing aid will be rest behind your ear canal as shown in this picture. And that is a tubing with the receiver will go into your ear canal. So for the receiver in the canal hearing aid, they are able to support the hearing loss from mild to profound hearing loss. Okay, so for the receiver in the canal hearing loss is more common hearing aid that is used by our hearing aid users. Okay, for the next one is the behind the ear hearing aids. Behind the ear hearing aids, the hearing aid will rest behind your ear 
and will be connect to your ear canal through the thin tube or the ear mold. So for this type of hearing aid, it will support the hearing loss from mild to profound hearing loss. Okay, for the large BPE hearing aids, is power of superpower hearing aids. So for this type of hearing aid, it will connect through an ear mold to your ear canal. And this type of hearing aid is designed for the patient with profound hearing loss. As you can see, based on the audiogram, the hearing loss is covered until 120. That means this is designed for the profound hearing loss. Okay, so this is the summary about the hearing aid stuff. We have the custom made hearing aid, uh, completely in the kennel and in the kennel hearing aid, and also the behind the ear hearing aid, which is considered the receiver in the kennel, the standard BTE, and also the power height or height power BTE, which is used to support the profound hearing loss, and for the Custom made hearing aids is used mostly to support the patient with mild to severe hearing loss. So, beside of the air conduction hearing aid, we also uh, there is also got bone conduction hearing aid. We call it BC hearing aids. The hearing aid will replace the, the bone behind our ears, and this type of hearing aid is suitable for the patient with the absence of ear canal. Or we got active ear discharge. So nowadays, the hearing aid available is small in size, easy to operate, and is fashionable. They are also got the rechargeable option, Bluetooth compatible, and able to do the fine tuning from home. We call it remote tuning. Okay, so for the rechargeable hearing aids, it is different from the traditional battery type hearing aids and you need to open the battery door every night. When you didn't use the hearing aid, you need to remove the battery, change to a new battery uh, every a period of time. But for the rechargeable hearing aids, you just need to put in the hearing aid into the chargers every day before you sleep and able to use the hearing aid on the next morning. So for this type of hearing aid, the, the battery is built into the hearing aids. Okay, now the hearing aids also got the remote control apps. That means you are able to fine tuning, able to increase the volume, decrease the volume, able to change the hearing aid program and also able to monitor your hearing aid usage just using the apps. Okay, besides that, there is also got the direct swimming future for the some hearing aid with some with certain hair handphone. That means Direct streaming, that means you are able to stream the all the audio, the middle audio, and also the phone's call directly to the hearing aids. So it will be work like a Bluetooth headphone or Bluetooth earphones. So this is mostly made for the iPhone and also certain Android phones. Okay, so due to the pandemic, there are most of the patients will not prefer to go to our clinic physically. So with the remote care and teleaudiology, we are able to do the fine tuning just when the patient at home and we can book an appointment, we can do the fine tuning like just using the app and also video call. Okay, there are very thing of brand of hearing aid that is available in the market. So in some like hearing, we are carrying five brands in our center, which include Resound, Opticon, Fornet, Signia, and Rexton. So from our YouTube channel, also got a lot of tutorial videos 
to teach you how to manage and how to take care of your hearing aids. So feel free to like and subscribe and share our YouTube channels. So this is the address and contact number for our PJ bus and also contact the morning bus. So you see which bus is more convenient for you. You can always contact us for the appointments. Thank you. Any questions? I think there are some technical issue with Teva. Let's just wait for them. Hi Teva. I am unable to hear you. You all can hear me or can hear Teva? Mm-hmm. 
Can you hear me? Can I? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Sorry for the technical issues. Uh. Do you mind sharing your slides again? Sorry? Can you share your slides again? Yeah, sure. Can you put it on the bigger screen? Ah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, ladies, for the wonderful uh, sharing about hearing aids. Let's see if any of our viewers would like to ask more questions regarding the hearing aids and also the services provided in Song Live. But before that, I would like to also share uh, frequently asked questions about uh, from the hearing aid users in Sound Live. Now. So mostly, uh, the frequently asked questions about the hearing aids in Sound Live is uh, patients, uh, they always ask how often hearing aids need to be sent for service. So... Uh, hearing aids uh, mostly will have two years to three years of warranty. Uh, so annually, every year, uh, we will advise our patients to send the hearing aids for services, for general service and uh, cleaning. And also, uh, after the warranty expired, if there is uh, any any issues with the hearing aid, let's say the sound is too soft or distorted. We will, we will advise them to send in for service. Yeah, so let's see if our viewers are interested to ask uh, more questions about the hearing aid. Feel free to ask a question. And also in conjunction with the World Hearing Day, uh, Sound Life Hearing is uh, giving up free hearing screening devices that could be in it. So if you are interested, you can uh, WhatsApp to our number 0127844913. Uh, you can WhatsApp World Hearing Day to our number to get this done. So, Gladys, do you have any frequently asked questions from your patients where they ask about hearing uh, aids? Okay, so for hearing aids, frequently patients will ask how long they should charge the hearing aids. Mm. So, nowadays, yeah. hearing aids, uh, we have battery operated as well as rechargeable hearing aids. Normally, yeah. battery operated, uh, depending on the size of battery, we will change the battery. There are batteries which can last for 7 days, uh, which can last for 10 days or more than 10 days also. But nowadays, we emphasize our patients to take the rechargeable units because they don't need to open and close the battery door. They don't need to, they don't need to change the battery often. So the rechargeable hearing, it's normally 3 to 4 hours, it can be fully charged. But since uh, they are going to be wearing the hearing aids throughout the day, we will ask them to charge it overnight 
uh, before going to bed, they just do the general cleaning and maintenance and then leave the hearing aids to charge overnight and it's uh, ready to be used at, in the morning. And uh, no, they, uh, they don't need to be worried about uh, overcharging or charging overnight since it, it will be automatically power cut. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we also have a question from Mohana. She said, hi, Teva and Gladys. Hello. I hi. would like to ask why there are so many follow-ups after fitting sessions. Is there a need? Okay, follow-up sessions are first uh, during the initial session, the hearing test as well as the trial is done to see how comfortable they are and also to see the initially uh, whether it serves their main uh, purpose or not. But the follow-up sessions are to see how regularly they are using the hearing aids because uh, wearing hearing aids and uh, maintaining it is it's a long rehabilitation process it's not like one day you get the hearing aids and you wear it and you are good to go so it's a rehabilitation process where after the first fitting done on a one month follow-up we will do another test called real ear measurement or a golden test um, to see how how accurately the hearing aids is fitted according to the hearing level and then every two to three months, we will do a follow-up sessions to see their usage, or we call it as data logging. Uh, preferably, we advise patients to wear hearing aids eight to ten hours. And also, we will do other follow-up tests like verification and validation tests, not only depending on their usage hours, but also we will perform a few questionnaires, like uh, question and answer sessions, to see how much the hearing aid has improved their quality of life. Like for example, initially they had a uh, hearing difficulties like uh, uh, difficult to hear television, answering phone calls, uh, phone conversations are not clear, uh, conversing in a noisy environment is a struggle for them. So with the hearing aids, uh, we will see them every three to six months to see how much it has improved their difficulties as well as quality of life. Yeah, so that's the idea of having a regular follow-up to see how much it's benefiting them. But uh, people who are staying nearby, they can come for one-to-one -one session. People who are staying uh, not able to come over quickly, we are also providing them remote training like how Gladys uh, explained in her previous session, uh, remote training or tele-audiometry. Uh, where the hearing aids need to be connected to their phone app and then they will uh, make an appointment to see their audiologist and then we will be video calling them to assist them to do the hearing aids tuning uh, and helping them remotely. Yeah. So, first two years we will have a regular follow up and then after that, uh, depending on the client's uh, need, they can. Uh, we can arrange the appointment. Yeah. I hope it answered your answered your question, Mahana. So since, uh, uh, like just now Gladys mentioned that uh, there are different types of uh, hearing aids, different styles of hearing aids, which, uh, which is uh, prescribed by the audiologist uh, according to their hearing level, their need, their financial demand, as well as their expectation. But there are a lot of brands also. The top five uh, brands that is carried in sound life is uh, Select, uh, Oticon, Signia, Western, as well as the uh, Resound. So I would like to share this uh, video of a uh, short video uh, showing um, the types and the size of hearing it we have in sound line. Let's have a uh, look.
so that's our short video showing the, our, one of our client has been treated with the hearing aid, the type and style as well as the brand. Is there any other questions from the viewers side? So without further to do, if there's no more questions from the viewer side, we would like to end this live session. Thank you so much for supporting and uh, watching our live session throughout this month, World Hearing Day. So feel free to WhatsApp to our number saying World Hearing Day to grab your hearing test vouchers with RM50 ringgit. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and also share our YouTube uh, channel. We have a lot of tutorial videos regarding hearing aids. It will be very helpful for the existing hearing aid users. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.